know you do four ace assemblies. You might show them. Sure. Now this is my favorite four ace trick. It uses the four kings. <laughs> and uh, there are the kings. Four of them. Those down. This also, Dave, uses three other cards. Those three, or any three really. Say the, the eight, a five, and an eight, for example. Now each of the kings go out on the table. And this is the leader king. Now the idea, as you guys know, is to get each of the kings up to the leader pile invisibly. And all I do is this. One, two, three. And believe it or not, it happens that fast. Cool. Not bad, huh? Actually, I said this is my favorite four ace trick because this is usually done with the aces because this is the four ace trick. Oh, Great. Yeah. There you go. Great. that card even further so neither you nor I nor Dave knows where that card is. Sure. Okay. okay. Let's just put them back down there. All right. Now, uh, well, you know what? Why don't you pick a card too to make this interesting? But one of these, not one of those. I don't want you to pick his card. So would you just take one out? Just grab one out of there and remember the card. Okay, and then we're going to bury that card and also bury his card further, thusly. Um, now, Dave, would you lift up about half the cards? And we're going to do something very peculiar with the card box. We're going to put it at an angle like that. Now, the reason I do that is because the card box, believe it or not, repels cards. What was your card? The Nine of Diamonds. Nine of Diamonds? From the middle the top. Very nice. Thank you. It also attracts cards. A train. I want you to pick the box up and I'm going to dribble the cards like this and I just want you to throw that in to the pack. Hey, would you hand the box to Trini? Trini, believe it or not, there's something in the box. Oh, open it up. Yeah, there it is. Hey, cool, man. Very nice. Thank you.